On Thursday, June 28, 2012, history was made as, in this local city of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the global Muslim leader, the Khalifa of Islam, His Holiness Mirza Masroor Ahmad, paid a visit to inaugurate this mosque. Over 100 people gathered to welcome His Holiness. Sometimes you, you just cannot put things, you know, your, your thoughts into or your feelings into words. It's unimaginable. We don't know, actually. It's amazing. It was overwhelming. It was very inspiring, actually. It was really mind-boggling. It's indescribable. That's exactly where I am right now. Seven billion people, like, in this, like, whole entire earth, and he picked Harrisburg to come to. You know, he could have... You know, he could have just not. He could have went to, I don't know, like Denver or something. Harrisburg is a small town in America. You know, it's got no major significance. But a Khalifa coming into it, on a worldly level, a regular American, he doesn't care. But for an Ahmadi, I think uh, having a Jalsa in Harrisburg, who's coming down to the Harrisburg Mosque, it makes it probably the best place in America at that point of time. All of us worked a lot. The last three months, Almost day and night, somebody was working there. And we did uh, almost 90% job was completed by volunteer. We went inside the mosque and uh, stood in line there, right where we say our Isha prayer, one of Isha prayer. And it was just, just fantastic that our Hassab's voice was coming through the speakers and live, not through MTA, not through anything, but it was live, it was right there. So that was very emotional uh, for a lot of people. We guided him to, through the mosque, went to the library, showed him the library, showed him the dining hall, the badminton place, and uh, he was very excited to see that. Because we went upstairs and he was with the women. He gave a lot of time to our you know, woman's side. He went upstairs, he visited everything. I was there about 15 minutes. He said, you have me for this whole time. Show me whatever you want to show me until I go down. Because when I go down, I'm not going to come back up. And, uh, he went outside. We showed him that. We showed him the stone that was the original stone that the members of this church had established in 1889, their church from Bethlehem. When we show him uh, 1889 cornerstone, so he, he was a little bit. Uh, because I told him that this is the fulfillment of the prophecy of Prophet Messiah Al Islam, Inni Maka Ya Masbur. So he stand. He told me how. So I told him because in 2008, Liverpool Masih Hamas, your footstep is only in Harrisburg and Bethur Oman, and we got a lot big extension in Bethur Oman. We got this mosque in Harrisburg. So this way, so this is a fulfillment of that prophecy in Nimaka, Ya Masru, we have seen. So then he smiled. Then he walked on the grass. He walked on the grass on the side of the mosque, to the front there. And then he went towards the planting of the tree. <laughs> He asked why you select this tree because this was the corner of the mosque also we don't want it grow very high, go high so it will be a certain height to go but it will stay forever over there but it's not a fruit, fruit tree also it's a Japanese tree for flowering then we walked around the other side and that's where he also then stood by this car thinking he would go right in the car and sit down and he didn't. He just stood around and wanted to talk to everybody. So Amla was called and all the Amla met him and, and uh, he was introduced by Salasana and we, uh, we got out to meet him. So our oldest uh, member of the Jamaat, Aslam Khan Sal, was also introduced to Hazur and Hazur uh, uh, very, was very kind and, and humble in, in acknowledging him being the first Ahmadi in uh, Harrisburg Jamaat. So that worked out really nice. And then again, he stood there for a few minutes, introduced, you know, talked to people, looked up at the, at the cross uh, or, the, or the crescent and star. And that was also very emotional because we had all worked on that. Kind of surreal a little bit because it was, it was kind of so close to us. Because I've never got that close to us or for that 
long time. The first time I saw him get off the car, I think that what that made my day. I actually met him. I shook hands with him. It was the first time I have ever seen Hazrat Ali Khatamasi in a place I've been. I walked around. The fact that he's he's talking to his people like the regular people, like he's a regular person. He shows them that he's cares. You know, that regardless of his high status, he is a human, uh, connecting with us. Mumla is it's a beautiful thing. Uh, what I first tried to see was, you know, why is everyone so attracted to him? What's so special about him? You know, the people say there's a certain light around him that is you know, all-encompassing. Um, I guess I saw that for, for the most part. Whether the experience was shaking his hand for two seconds or walking behind His Holiness for 45 minutes, this is an experience that people will remember for the rest of their lives. Salam Bhatti, reporting from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, for CNN iReport.